Greetings, everyone. Well, the term corporate cultures was introduced by Deal and Kennedy in Corporate Cultures, Rights and Videos of Corporate Life, 1982. Their book received mixed reaction with the detractions saying it was a superficial application of the discipline of anthropology to management. However, since this time, the term has become an accepted part of business language and forms a key element of corporate strategy. It includes a range of factors, including how employees dress and interact with company leaders, typical work hours, and more. Today, we are about to interview managers about their different companies' corporate cultures. Hello, everyone again. And uh, today, we, journalists from Russia, want to ask you some interesting questions. So, my name is Tanya, and my colleague's name is Artem. Artem, your first question. Um, okay. The first word is given to Kim, the Samsung representative. And the question is, how does the organization in your company support your professional development and career growth? Well, greetings, everyone. I'm a PR manager of the Samsung company. And first of all, I'd like to say that uh, human resource development is understandably an underlying strategic objective linked to Samsung's corporate culture. Uh, for example, the company ensures career development opportunities not just through programs, but also by encouraging employees to support each other uh, toward achieving their career goals within the technology business organization. These opportunities um, are also supported through Samsung's corporate structure, which facilitates human uh, resource development while pushing for innovation in business operations. Uh, the innovation centeredness of the organizational structure helps grow the business and create opportunities for employees' career development. Any Thank questions? You. Yeah, one more question for you. Uh, it's not a secret that nowadays there is a high competition between your company and another famous company, which, which is called Apple. So how do you feel about this? Oh, that's a great question. Um, the overall level of quality of smartphones in general uh, and uh, the flagship devices of Chinese and Korean manufacturers increases and Samsung needs to uh, surprise people more and more uh, in order to continue to dominate the market. So the Samsung company is trying to um, keep the bar high and bypass all the competitors including Apple. And also I'd like to say that um, in the top 50 ranking of uh, employees, uh, Samsung takes the first place and Apple takes only the sixth place. That's all. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. It's very exciting. And we are moving to another uh, representative. It's Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the question to you is, what are the three main aspects that make your corporate culture stand out from others? Uh, well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Stone and uh, now I'm presenting our company um, Adidas. And uh, uh, I'd like to notice that our company is quite popular and um, <clears throat> over the past time our company um, has formed a positive uh, image among our clients. And um, I'd like uh, to say that our company uh, has um, different uh, corporate values and um, the most stands out of them are uh, such as uh, we try to be open to our clients, uh, we try to rely on facts, and uh, <clears throat> meanings and um, we try to be effective and useful for people so thanks for your question thank you and one more question about your company how do you think what makes your company famous um i think that um our um, 
corporate culture uh, plays a big role in this question and um, it's not a secret that we have a good slogan uh, which sounds like uh, impossible is possible and uh, I think it uh, means a lot and uh, gives opportunities uh, to uh, share our um, uh, secrets and allow us with people and it really helps us so that's all thank you thank you very much thank you very much and um, I'm very excited about IKEA as well and uh, their corporate culture and now the word is given to Jason Jason uh, what role do company values play in hiring and performance reviews? Um, hello, I am a representative of uh, Nike and uh, <laughs> I would say that uh, our HR management uh, always looks for people who share our strategic values and uh, if uh, we look for people who will fit in our corporate culture and if someone doesn't share um, our beliefs then our management will most likely not approve uh, this person for an open position thank you uh, so jackson uh you are a manager of nike yes so here's a question for you what is the most difficult thing about being a part of such a big company? The most difficult part of being such an um, enormous uh, transnational company is that we have many offices in different countries and continents of the world. And uh, economically, every country is different and we have to suit our production and, uh, for example, clothes for the welfare of people uh, according to their low or high income. Okay, thank you very thank much. You thank so you for much. your questions. No more questions, thank you. And now, I, um, I wonder uh, to ask Lars about eCare, corporate culture, and the thing I wonder the most is how they resolve conflicts about in their company. So Lars, the word is given to you. What causes conflicts and how is conflict resolved in your company? Greetings to everyone. Thanks for your attention. Uh, we in IKEA, we try to be peaceful about everything. If a conflict shows up or something we try to resolve it the most peaceful way possible like with some um compromise yeah right that is the word yeah that is how we solve conflicts in ikea company oh it's cool thank you and i have one more question for you lars if there are decisions um, and uh, disagreement, there is a disagreement and stakes are high, what do you do in these situations? Because it's really important to be in market as a leader and you are a leader. Yes, IKEA is a leader in uh, furniture market. Well, as I have already said, we try to accomplish a compromise. Like, we try to combine our decisions if there is uh, some problems with applying them. Like, if uh, some people don't like the decision of other people, we try to combine the decisions of these two groups to, so no one gets hurt or uh, gets bad or something so yes thank you for your attention okay thank you very much thank you so these were all the 
answers on our questions, representatives of different uh, corporate cultures. And um, um, I'd like to finish this with a phrase, a famous phrase of Charlie's Handy. No culture or mix of cultures is better run in itself, only inappropriate in the circumstances. Thank you for your attention, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank we you. managed to have a look at corporate cultures of different countries. It was very interesting and useful for all of us. Thank you for your uh, conversation.